May I request His Excellency, the Council General of India, Mr. Sujin Chunai, to address the gathering. Please make welcome Mr. Sujin Chunai. Thank you. The timing of this great occasion is as exquisite as one of Steve Waugh's cover drives. <laughs> Coming as it does on the eve of Australia Day and India's Republic Day. For this great occasion demonstrates to us all the things that our two great countries share in common. It's been a scorching summer so far. You would agree both on the field and off the field. <laughs> and I've just come back from Adelaide after watching two days of the test match. I was there when Sachin got his 100. I was also there, more importantly, I was witness to this great country's respect for sportsmen, for friendship, for Sachin got a standing ovation, not just from Indians, but from Australians. If ever there were a thought after the Sydney test that cricket, in fact, divides us, I've come back from Adelaide with the firm conviction that the spirit of this noble game has prevailed above all. And it is entirely apposite and appropriate that this great occasion celebrating our respective national days should take place in Sydney. This great emporium of trade, finance, commerce, and all that is good about Australia. A city which is imbued with a sense of its own destiny in Australia's march into the new millennium. India and Australia live in each other's extended neighborhood. And the march of technology has brought us even closer. And I acknowledge tonight the presence of all these distinguished members of parliament, past and present. The list is long, and I have been given three minutes, and I'm a wise man. <laughs> Both Labour and Liberal members of parliament, distinguished representatives of the sporting world, of the Indian community, of business organizations. You are the essential link in this great process of forging and deepening better understanding and better engagement between our two countries in this extended neighborhood. We share a lot in common. And today, India and Australia are engaged in this great partnership as the epicenter of the global economy shifts to Asia and the Asia-Pacific region. It is India and Australia in partnership, in tandem, that are destined to play a much greater role. India, in the new millennium, India is full of hope, expectation, anticipation of things to come. It is an economy that is growing at a scorching speed, the speed of Steve Waugh's cover drives, <laughs> at 9% plus, it is a population of 1.2 billion people, the difference between India and Australia being only 1 billion. We have similar populations, but we also share values of democracy, of an independent press, an independent judiciary, and the sense of goodwill and friendship of giving each other a fair go. It is in this context that we come together tonight to celebrate both Australia Day and India's Republic Day. The Indian community, especially the United Indian Association, has done much work, stellar work, to bring these two countries closer, to provide a platform to the Indian community 
to appreciate their heritage, to appreciate Australia better, and it is extremely important that they continue to play this very important role. I congratulate the United Indian Association for organizing this function tonight, and I leave you all with my best wishes. May 2008, the new year, bring the best for both countries. I wish you good health and cheer. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dev. Uh, good to see you again. Uh, Sujin Chinoy, uh, an outstanding speech. Thank you very much for that. That was, that was it's extraordinary. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much, uh, Dev. Uh, Raj uh, Nadarajan, uh, Sujan Shinoy, uh, Consul General for India, and I also congratulate you on the content and uh, quality of your address uh, here this evening, uh, Consul General. Uh, Barry O'Farrell, uh, Leader of the Opposition here in New South Wales, Nathan Rees, Laurie Ferguson and John Murphy, whom I congratulate on winning government recently along with Julie Owens. Steve Waugh, uh, a great Australian where it's a much abused term, Steve. And for those of us who are privileged to be members of parliament, I think the next life will choose cricket. Um, it's obviously a way to endear yourself to people. I think we've been, uh, been a force for uh, sometimes getting away from our parochialism and our narrowness. And uh, I particularly recognise him. The many parliamentary representatives here who are symptomatic of uh, the deep respect for the community and its presence in this city. And also... Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Australian cricket legend, Steve Waugh. Steve is, of course, one of the greatest cricketers in the history of the game, if not the greatest.